Right, I've covered message filters in a lot of videos, and today I'm going to show you how you can import message filters into your ESA. In one of the videos um, that I've covered before, uh, I've shown you how to go ahead and import and export files when it comes to the ESA. But anyways, when it comes to message filters, you run the command filters, and right now we see there are no message filters in here, right? So what I'll have to do is uh, I'll have to go ahead and import it, right? But before that, we got to confirm that we have the file. I just now connected to uh, uh, through the FileZilla to the ESA, and I can see it's successful. And this is the file I imported. Let me just go ahead and delete it just to show you again. So I'm going to copy. I'm not really going to copy that file. I'm just going to drag and drop that file right here inside the configuration folder. So you have to make sure you're inside the configuration folder because that's where you got to put the file. And the file is here right now. As you can see, it's message filters for important.txt, right? So once the file is there, I can go ahead and say import and hit enter. And I'm going to give it the file name now, right? Let's do it. Copy the file name, .txt, and hit enter. Now, number two is fine, UTF. Whoa, file filters imported. Isn't that great? Right. There is uh, there's something that uh, I'll tell you about the format, how to write it, uh, how the file has to be. It's slightly different from how you write it here, very, very slightly. So that's completely fine. So if I say list, these are the five uh, message filters that we have right now in our ESA because I import these, uh, test, import one, and so on. Now, it, these are pretty much similar. So if I go ahead and say detail, for one comma two, sorry, what is that? Yes, I'm gonna say one hyphen two. So it gives me um, test import one and test import two right here, right? So it gives me information about all that, mail from this, mail from this. So I just made this file just for this video. Now, um, if you paid attention to this part right here, I had to make sure I did this, um, message underscore filters for importing dot txt yes you have to mention the complete thing with the with the extension as well if you don't mention the extension it's gonna give you an error stating that we didn't find that file i can demonstrate it to you right now but it's really not required i guess uh, because i just told it to you utf8 is fine with the encoding and uh, that's pretty much it now looking at the file now if i'll uh, show you the file itself just give me a second, let me show you the file. Right, so this is the difference I was talking about. Now, this is the file that I imported in the ESA. These are the five filters, uh, message filters. You have to make sure the names are unique, just in case, because you know, when you're writing it in this file, you may forget to give it different names. Because I was just testing it out and I actually made that mistake once. But, anyways, just telling you that make sure it's unique, otherwise, you'll get an error which states that, you know, you got filters with the same name. Um, another thing, interesting thing, is that I haven't mentioned a dot like we do in the message filters when we write it in the CLI of the ESA directly. We don't mention the dot, all right? And the rest remains the same, okay? So that's pretty much it. You can follow this example and do it, and that's pretty much it. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So yeah, don't put a dot and the rest remains the same. Just make sure you have the unique names and the syntax has to be correct as well. Yeah, you gotta make sure the syntax is correct. Once you've written it, uh, places, uh, place it in the configuration directory of the ESA and then run the import command, just like I showed you. Okay, just go ahead and commit as well. And that's pretty much it, you're done. The message filters are imported and you should be good. Well, thank you so much for your time on this video in case I missed out on anything or if there's anything that you want me to talk about, please do put that in the comments. I'll be very happy to help. Also, I noticed that there's a huge amount of audience that, you know, watch my YouTube videos. They are not subscribed to the channel. That is so bad, right? <laughs> Just go ahead and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, thank you so much. Have a great day. Goodbye.